Okay, good evening everyone, this is Dr. Ranjit here. So, uh, we are going to see a, a, one of the updates which is there in the new edition of Robins. So, I'll be having uh, tiny tiny video lectures in the YouTube as well as in Instagram and Telegram uh, covering all the necessary changes which has come in the new Robins. So, if you uh, like to know the updates, uh, subscribe to the uh, channel as well as keep following me for in, in various platforms for the, the updates. Today, what we are going to see about is something called as an oncogenic addiction. And you, we are going to see uh, there is new terminology given in the new Robins called as Oncogen Addiction. So we all know what is an Oncogen, right? It's, an, uh, it's nothing but a uh, gene which is there normally in our body which gets mutated. A proto-oncogen which helps in the uh, proliferation of cells, they get mutated, forms an Oncogen. Example, RAS is an Oncogen which we know, right? Actually the most common onco proto-oncogen or Oncogen to get mutated in cancers is RAS. We must have heard about JAK2. We must have heard about CMIC. There are many oncogenes like that. So there's something called as an oncogene addiction. So what does an oncogene addiction means? So when generally we have it, when you have a tumor, it's not a single cell, right? It's a clone of cells. We call it clones. There will be multiple such clones. Which means a tumor is not going to have only one mutation. You'll have multiple mutations in a tumor. For example, an adenoma carcinoma sequence in a colon cancer. Multiple mutations. So what does an oncogene addiction means is, Though there are multiple mutations, there is one primary mutation which holds the tumor. That tumor, that mutation is going to be the cause of an oncogene addiction. So which means this is a phenomenon seen in oncogenes. So the entire tumor, though there are many clones, they are uh, linked, they are only going to be controlled by one mutation. That mutation we call it an oncogene addiction. So when, I, when we discovered this, what happened was, yes, so I have an anchor mutation. So how can I treat it? That was the question. So the way to treat was just to target the gene mutation and to destroy them. That's how most of the targeted therapy came. EGFR, oncogene addiction in lung adenocarcinoma. We have an EGFR targeted therapy. BCR ABL, right? Oncogene addiction in case of CML, we have imatinib. JAK2, ruxolotinib, right? We have, we have many drugs. When you look at these drugs, most of the drugs target only oncogenes and not a tumor suppressor genes. So this oncogene addiction is a property of a proto-oncogene or a mutated part which is an oncogene, first point. So next comes is, does all the proto-oncogene uh, uh, follow this oncogene addiction? The answer is no, they don't follow it. There are few proto-oncogenes which are like an exception. One of the exceptions is RAS. RAS is very diverse. I am not able to still target RAS and destroy it. But other things, yes, I can destroy. HER2 new, I can destroy. EGFR, I can destroy. FLT3, I can destroy. Also, a few examples of oncogene, right? RAS is not able to destroy. CMIC is not able to destroy. I am not able to target it yet. Because they have very diverse mechanisms, so they escape the oncogene addiction. So, therapy is not so successful in us. Fine? So, this, prop, this mechanism of targeting one particular oncogene which is primary which, or which is, is a central dogma of a tumor, this therapy is called as an oncogenic shock therapy. Right? So in today's videos, what we have seen is, we have seen something called as oncogenic addiction. I'm just refreshing uh, quickly. It means a tumor has a center dogma of one single oncogene and I can target that oncogene to kill the tumor, which is called as an oncogenic shock therapy. There are few exceptions to the oncogenic addiction, which is RAS as well as MYZ. Fine. These are few uh, terminologies and few exceptions that have been added in the new Robins. Stay tuned. We'll see more and more updates about new Robins in all these platforms. And yeah, hope, hopefully we'll read uh, much more new things together. And if you have anything new to comment about these, uh, put it as a comment below so that uh, I also learn to with you. And if you like it, hit the like button and share it along with your friends. Fine. In the next video, what you're going to see is, you're going to see something called a non-oncogene addiction. Okay, and we are going to see non-oncogenic addiction therapy as well. It's not there in Robins, but still, this topic has come in Robins. So, we are going to see whatever is surrounding there. So, if there's any new MCQ which comes on that, we will be able to attend that. Thank you for your patient listening. Bye-bye and good luck for your exams and your future from Dr. Ranjit.